Question 13. Aqueous NaBH4, that's sodium borohydride, reduces aldehydes but does not reduce alkenes. Uh, show the first step of the mechanism of the reaction between sodium borohydride and 2-methylbutanal. So that's an aldehyde. Um, sodium borohydride uh, makes H- ions, and the H- has got a lone pair of electrons that attacks the carbon of the carbon-to-oxygen double bond. So the first step of the reaction is where the hydride ion, so that's a H- ion from sodium borohydride. Don't try and draw NaBH4 in a mechanism. It makes hydride ions, H- is with a lone pair of electrons, and it attacks that C+, plus, C delta plus there. This is a, a polar bond here with a delta plus on the C and a delta minus on the oxygen, and it attacks that. Um, and it only wants the first step. Uh, the second step would be that that would make CO with a minus and a lone pair of electrons. And you add a little bit of acid to the mixture and it makes OH. So this will eventually make an OH CH2. Um, why does it not uh, react with 2-methylbutuanine? That's because it's got a carbon to carbon double bond that's got lots of electrons. We say it's electron rich, and so these hydride ions repel. So whereas now it's attacking a C delta plus, uh, a little delta plus on the polar carbon to oxygen double bond, it won't uh, attack an electron rich. That's a carbon to carbon double bond that's got lots of electrons because the H minus ion is repelled by that. A student attempted to reduce a sample of 2 methyl butanol but added insufficient sodium borohydride. So they wanted to test that it was incomplete with a chemical test, in other words, that there was some of the aldehyde left over. The reagent is um, Tollens reagent. It needs to be warm, so warm Tollens reagent, and it will give a silver mirror. The other option is that you add failing solution, it gives a brick red precipitate.